Hi guys, it's Jake here. I'm just going to take you through installing a WordPress blog through the justhost.com cPanel. Uh, and the domain we're going to be using today as an example is gadgetcrazy.org. And this is just the uh, justhost.com default page when you register a domain with them but haven't got any files up yet. Uh, and the first thing we need to do before we install WordPress is basically get rid of this. So what we do is we go back to the cPanel and we scroll down to uh, File Manager, just here, and we click on that. Uh, we want to open in the home directory uh, and just go through there. Do, 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 do. All right, so we go into public HTML and then go down to index.php. That's the file that's 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 showing all that stuff at the moment. Uh, we just get rid of that, so we'll delete that. Yes, I'm sure I want to delete that. Okay, good. Uh, and now we can get started on installing WordPress. Alright, so what we do is we go back to the cPanel and we scroll up to Popular Choices and we're going to be installing WordPress. This is just a link straight to the Fantastico installer of WordPress. Uh, Fantastico is really good. It uh, allows you to install all these things really easily. Uh, and we're just going to do a new installation of WordPress because there's nothing else uh, on this domain or in this hosting. So we'll just do a new installation. <coughs> uh, and we have gadgetcrazy.org. Um, now the reason I deleted the uh, index.php file is so I can install it straight on the base domain because there's going to be nothing else on this hosting. Uh, if you wanted to keep things a bit tidier, or you're going to host a, um, have a few different things like a forum as well as a um, blog, then you can install each thing into a like a separate directory, and you just you know put in blog for the blog directory or whatever. But I'm going to keep this blank and go straight into the base domain because uh, there's going to be nothing else on this site. All right, so we move on now. We set up the admin username. Uh, a security tip, don't use just admin as the admin username because that's what the default for most WordPress installations is. That Most WordPress installations have an admin user uh, and it's, it's a good security idea to not have one because it makes it slightly harder for people to break into your WordPress installation. Uh, which is, it's unlikely but it's just a good, good security practice to not have an admin username. So what we're going to have instead is our uh, admin username is inspector uh, and we'll just do random password uh, obviously I'll be changing all of this after this video but this is just for demonstration purposes um, the admin nickname is what's going to show up on all posts so we'll just uh, oops, Mr. Gadget, yep um, put in your email, put in the site name, uh, we'll actually change that to just gadget crazy. And description, we are going to make this uh, great blog about gadgets. Alright, and once you've got all that information in there, uh, all you've got to do is click install WordPress. And Fantastico will create a WordPress database for you. Um, I'm going to go through in another video how to make sure your database is secure, but most most small scale blogs won't really need to worry about that, um, and you don't need to worry about it for now anyway. Um, and we've chosen to install the main directory, and it says what the URL will be for the blog. So all we need to do now is finish installation. And fast, Fantastico will do its thing. So we're just going to sit here and wait. Alright, so that's it. That's all you had to do. Uh, you, if you need to inform someone that you've installed it, you can put their email address in there, but uh, we don't need to do that. Um, and we've now installed WordPress. It was that easy. So if we just go gadgetcrazy.org and I'll just reload that page we now have a basic WordPress blog. It's that simple. All right, and if you want to go into the admin, uh, you need to go into the domain slash wp-admin. Uh, so here the meta login stuff, just log in. 
do, 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 do. So now we're at the login page. Uh, we put in inspector and the password was penny and login. And there we go. We've got access to the WordPress dashboard. All right. Thanks, guys.